Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. Uh, up this week, I've got another mail call video. Um, this is going to be the last in a series of mail calls that I've been shooting, uh, dealing with some of the uh, consigners, the, the online auctions that are there. Um, and these are uh, a couple just really awesome people, Joe and Lori Fenske. Um, if you don't know them, look them up on Facebook. Um, they do a couple of the live auctions on the Vintage Matchbox Live page. And uh, I got a couple really great buys in their last auction. And just want, wanted to uh, share them with you. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'll go through a couple of these smaller ones first. So here we've got... Nice cream van. So this is the uh, it's a Comer ice cream canteen, uh, number 47. Um, and this one is just super nice. Um, it's got the clear glass. All the original decals are intact. Uh, the little dude on the inside has his ice cream cone. And um, just a couple little, I think, uh, I think Ori calls them chiggers. Um, right there, but uh, you know, not complaining about that. Um, really nice original survivor piece. Looks like we got some cleanup we can do on the back. Some crusty stuck on it there. Um, but super excited about that. I've got uh, the blue version um, that I picked up from uh, Jay Harvey a couple weeks ago. Um, and now this is the white variation to complete all of those. And here is another of the blue. So the blue that I just picked up has the uh, Lion's Made decal on it. And this is the other variation on the, uh, the same casting. Um, so again, I kind of go through sets uh, where I find one specific casting and then I want to get all the different versions, variations of that. Um, so this is kind of rounding out my sets for that. Um, this one has one slight little issue. It's got a little crack in the glass up there. Paint looks really nice on it. Um, and that may be uh, a candidate for uh, my new method that I've been trying to, to work out on making those cracks disappear in the glass. So we'll see. This is such a, a nice model. It's really a shame that it's got that one little issue. And if we can improve that, that would be awesome. Um, but as you can see, all of these got their little dudes and that ice cream cone that's always missing. Um, it's on all of these. And Lori and Joe really do a, a great job uh, when they find the stuff. You know, I, I know if it's in their auction, it's going to be really nice stuff. Um, so this one, this one's, this one's little. Yeah. So I've been after one of these for a really long time, um, the uh, little Land Rover Jeep. I have one um, in my collection that is an original, uh, but unfortunately the, the gentleman that I bought it from uh, was in the Air Force and he used them as vehicles on a train display. And so he's painted over and added taillights and all sorts of stuff into it. Um, this one is missing the little dude, the little driver in there. I think I can get those reproduction. Um, but other than that, really nice original model. This is the metal wheel. Um, and really awesome price on that. So I couldn't leave it behind. So another nice little piece to have. Here we've got the wreck truck, the number 13, uh, Lesney wreck truck. This is an older model. This is the metal wheel model. Um, and this one has the tow hook intact. I've got a couple of these. Um, one is missing the hook and one is missing the entire assembly. Um, they kind of, the assembly on these is kind of unusual because it's the rear axle that actually holds that other casting piece in there. Um, but this one was in really good shape, all complete. 
um, and a nice addition to the collection. So excited to get that one as well. And then last but not least, try to save the best for last. I was really, really excited about this one. So I've gotten into the king size a little bit more um, just because the, the models are so fun and finding them um, tends to be not as, as difficult as some of the, finding some of the little ones sometimes. Um, but this one was in really great shape. Uh, you can see it's got, you know, edge wear, play wear. This was, was loved by a, a child. Um, but this is the car transporter, the King Size K8 series. And really, really nice little model. Um, and this is one of the King Size variations that I haven't come across yet. And when it came up in the auction, um, it got an unbelievably good deal on this. Um, seriously, I probably would have paid double what I actually got this for. Um, and, you know, felt like, like for, for the price that it was being offered up, um, I just couldn't let it pass. And so, nice little model. And uh, it's complete, it's got everything with it. And uh, really, really happy to add that to the collection. So that's going to do it for this week. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like down below. And uh, click that subscribe button to keep up with this and all of our future videos. And don't forget to join us next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.